Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, June 21, 2013. This week, how to use layered template pieces with the Silhouette Studio. Layered templates are a very versatile product and they're a great purchase. You can even use parts of your favorite layered templates as cutting files in your Silhouette software. Here's how. Open your layer template in Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. Get the Move tool and select the layer that you want to use as a cutting file. For the sample, I'm going to use the frame over here on the right to create a cutting file. At the top right corner of the Layers panel, click the down arrow and choose Duplicate Layer. This activates the Duplicate Layer dialog box. Under Destination, choose New, and then click OK. Now the selected item will appear in its own document with the transparent background. If the layer has a style applied, like a drop shadow, you can double click the FX icon in the Layers panel to bring up the Layer Styles dialog box. Untick any of the layer styles that are ticked and then click OK to clear away the style. Press Ctrl U or on a Mac System Command U to bring up the Hue Saturation box. Drag the Lightness slider all the way to the left and click OK. This changes your image to black with a transparent background. Now you can trim away the transparent background by getting the Crop tool. In the Options bar, at the top or at the bottom, depending on which software you're using, you can clear away the Height and Width box, or you can choose No Restriction. Draw out crop lines around your image and tick the check mark to confirm the crop. Now choose File, Save As. In the Save In box, you can choose the location for your new file, give it a name, and then for the format, choose PNG. When you're satisfied with your choices, click Save. This saves the image as a PNG image, which can be used in your Silhouette software or other cutting machine software. See how to load cutting files into the Silhouette Studio video to load and use the resulting PNG. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next cutting file tip.